Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today's video is about how to take care of your hair after a workout. So if that sounds like something that interests you, keep watching. Hi, so today I'm going to be taking you through a workout of mine and you guys have been asking how I tie my hair when I work out. Now when I work out, my workouts are basically divided into mobility and stretching. I start with it. For mobility and stretching, I can just take a scrunchie and just loop it through my hair once and this is good enough. So my workouts are divided into mobility and stretching, that is my first part, after which I do some functional. Functional also I can just leave my hair in a scrunchie and it's all good because it's loose, it doesn't interfere with my curls and it doesn't disturb my curl pattern. Now the third part of my workout is where I incorporate a little bit of cardio. When I do my cardio, this is the one time where my hair is going to move around a lot. Now, what do I do when I tie my hair up for cardio? I generally take all of my hair and I put it down. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. So I take all of my hair and I loop it in my scrunchie. I take these pieces and I just tuck it into a scrunchie. Now as you can see I have a pineapple but it's all very loose and it isn't disturbing my curls at all. It won't spoil the curls at the roots because I've kept all of it very loose so nothing is pulling and tugging. Yet the scrunchie is really nice and tight because I've looped my hair through it. But this alone is not going to help you when you do cardio. So what I do is I take my satin band and I go around my pineapple. And I just tie it once and then twice. As you can see, it's really nice and tight. If you have any hangy bits, that's going to interfere with you when you work out. So tie it as many times as you want. As you can see, it's holding the curls really nice, but everything is loose at the roots. Now. I don't always do this, but some of you may not like sweat dripping down your face. So what you can do is I take a headband and put it around your head and this should work like a sweat band. Everything is nice and protected. It's pretty loose at the roots, so I'm not going to stretch out the curls at the roots, at the top sections. But you can be rest assured that this is going to last while you work out. So yep, I'll just take you through a typical workout of mine so that you can see what my routine is like. Okay, as you can see, my hair stayed put pretty much and it is quite a sweaty workout. Let's say hi to my trainer, Sandeep Ghosh. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for that awesome workout. What can I say for myself? She's fantastic in everything, in music, in fitness, <laughs> okay. uh, in makeup. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for the workout, Sandeep. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm back home. I finished stretching. I did some cool down. And as you can see, my hair is still staying put. 
I'm gonna jump into the shower. I'm not gonna do anything to my hair. And then when I eat my morning snack, I'm going to let my hair down so that it has a chance to get some circulation and gets a chance to dry a bit. I'll finish eating, I'll do some makeup and I'll come back to show you how I refresh my hair. All right, I'm done eating and I've let my hair down. Now, this is going to be a long video because I didn't want to half-ass it. So, uh, if you want, you can watch this in double time. Just go to speed and double time it because I have a lot of information to give you and I want to be a little thorough and detailed about it. So, yeah, long video. I have a lot of options to give you guys. So, keep that in mind. Okay, I'm out of the shower and I kept my hair in the pineapple because I didn't want it getting wet. Now at this point, what would I do? Nothing. This is what my hair looked like before CGM. This is what it looks like now. Why did my hair get to such a bad place? Because I'm a singer and I perform on stage. When it comes to performing on stage, I've always had to look very, very polished, which means I did this to my hair and this to my hair and this to my hair and this to my hair now after all of the damage and abuse that i've put my hair through i don't want high grill fatigue being one of them right now which is why i do absolutely nothing if you are not convinced i want you to stop this video stop watching all right go to youtube go to the search bar and type in i did not wash my hair for one year and this happened watch those videos i keep telling you that your scalp is going to reset but it's going to take some time guys by you washing your hair every two or three days or four days you are not even giving your scalp the chance to reset and then you wonder why you have a greasy scalp in my very first video if you go down and read the description which i always encourage you guys to read i've written it down there that if you're starting cgm listen your scalp is going to reset it's going to take some time so for me i do absolutely nothing because i'm not trying to cause my hair more damage i already have color damage and i have heat damage so I put my hair through a lot and it was very, very abused and damaged. I don't want hydro fatigue damage right now, which is why I do absolutely nothing. But this video is not about me and some of you have probably not damaged your hair so much, which is why you're not concerned about hydro fatigue. And you guys know that on this channel, I give you every single option possible. So these are your options. If you've just worked out, then you know your scalp has become pretty greasy, pretty oily, and it's probably wet from some sweat. You're also concerned about the odor. Just once, I want to urge you to do nothing and wait for the entire day to pass. Towards the evening, ask yourself, is it really that bad? Or is it that you are just not used to it? Anyway, if that does not convince you, then first off, when we're talking about post-workout refreshes, the first thing that you want to address is your scalp. Now, what are your options? I was looking at Amazon and they have some products that are specifically marketed as scalp refreshers. You can pick up one of those. Secondly, you can use dry shampoo. Now, in your CG journey, you have to figure out what kind of a CG follower are you. Are you super hardcore, strictly CG? Or do you have some leeway for some ingredients that aren't purely CG friendly? Like for example, if you go on YouTube and you check out curly girls, you'll see that the biggest curly girls out there are okay with some silicone. You'll also see that the Dippity Do Girls with Curls gel is one of the most raved about gels in the market. If you go to isitcg.com or curlsbot.com and punch in some of the ingredients, you'll see that it has alcohol that is not CG friendly. A lot of curly girls also use Umberto Giannini. Again, Umberto Giannini has some alcohol in it, which is not CG friendly. A lot of people will also use some products from Enliven, like the gel. I use it, right? But if you go to curlsbot.com, you'll see that it has some drying alcohols in it. So the very first thing that you want to ask yourself is, am I okay with silicone? Am I okay with some drying alcohols? What kind of CG am I following? Is it a modified version or is it strictly CG and I want to do everything by the book? 
Now, if you're okay with some silicone, then the Aussie Clean Texture Dry Shampoo is for you. This product does not have any sulfates, it does not have any alcohols, but it does have some silicone. If silicones are absolutely not for you and you're okay with some alcohol in your product, then the Enliven Dry Shampoos are for you. They don't have any silicones, but they do have some drying alcohols that are not CG friendly. Well, it's debatable. Some people say that their alcohols are CG friendly. Some people consider it not to be CG friendly. So there's a bit of a gray area there. Now, if you feel like, no, I don't want a dry shampoo that has silicone in it, I don't want a dry shampoo that has alcohol in it, but I still want my scalp feeling very, very dry. I don't want any of that oiliness and I do not have the patience for my scalp to reset. Then what can you do? You can make yourself a DIY dry shampoo. Now, what I'm going to say might seem a little gimmicky, but I tried it and you know what? It wasn't half bad. Better than using talc and clogging your scalp. So. What do I need for this? I'll tell you in a second. I'm just gonna take a clean dumpa, a clean container. Look, I like to recycle my old containers, okay? So judge me as much as you want. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna buy a new container for a video. This is good enough. So I'm just gonna take a clean container and I'm gonna take some cornflower. If you're a blonde, then stop right there. But if you're a brunette and you're a little concerned, then take some cocoa powder and mix it together in equal quantities. Now, I'm not trying to be wasteful, so I'm just gonna make a tiny bit. I'm gonna take half a teaspoon of cocoa powder, that's a level spoon, put it into the container. Okay, secondly, corn flour, half a teaspoon, goes into the container, close the container, shake well, this is what your mixture is going to look like. Now, application, I'll show you in a second. This option is talc-free, silicone-free, and sulfate-free, and alcohol-free. Now, hang on. If you're freaking out and going like, no, I'm not putting cocoa powder on my hair. Are you crazy? <laughs> then this next option might be for you. You are going to take an empty spray bottle and you're going to make yourself a scalp refresher. Now, what are your options and what can you put into the spray bottle? You can use apple cider vinegar. Why are we using apple cider vinegar? It is a chelating agent, we know that. Apple cider vinegar is a cleansing agent, it's a chelating agent. Okay, so Dr. Oz in a video said that apple cider vinegar is very good for the scalp because it is a cleansing agent and it changes the pH of the scalp. Now, if you have dandruff, then essentially that's fungus that's growing on your scalp. If you change the pH level of your scalp, the fungus cannot grow and cannot live and they die. Therefore, it helps you out with dandruff as well. So, in the spray bottle, I have an option to use all of these ingredients together or minus one of them. You can do whatever you want based on your comfort. So, you can put apple cider vinegar, you can put some cornstarch, if you don't want to use corn flour, corn starch, then that's fine. Just leave it out of the mix, okay? Take some essential oil. Now, you can choose any essential oil of your choosing and I'll tell you which ones are best for a dry scalp and an oily scalp. I have it written down all here. Don't mind if I read. So, for an oily scalp, you can use lavender essential oil, rosemary oil, lemon oil, cedar wood, chamomile and eucalyptus. And for a dry, itchy scalp, you can use bergamot, lemongrass, tea tree or thyme essential oil. So in your spray bottle, depending on your comfort, you can put one or all of these ingredients. Keep in mind, you can leave this in. You don't have to wash it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to take a mixture of two essential oils and I'm choosing this because I'm really sensitive to fragrance. These two do not bother me as much. So I'm taking lemon and I'm taking something called Gently Purify from the body shop. I love the smell of these two mixed together and I use it in a diffuser all the time. So how much of this am I gonna take? One, two, Three, four, five, six, yeah, 
that should be good enough. Six drops of the lemon. Oh, it smells so good. And I don't know what kind of oil this is. All I know is that I love the smell of these two mixed together. It just says gently purify. Four, five, six. Yeah, that should be good. And I checked. There's no problem if you use essential oil on your hair as long as you don't use it in purified form. If it is in a highly diluted form, then it's totally fine. Oh, that smells nice. Just gonna wipe my spoon down. Take a little bit of corn flour. Not too much. I think I'm taking one eighth of half a teaspoon. So that'll be one sixteenth of a teaspoon. Gonna be super careful. And put that in. All of it went in there. Just gonna give it a bit of a shake. Now, if you're not comfortable with all of these ingredients, you can do water and apple cider vinegar. You can do water and essential oil. You can do water, cornstarch and essential oil. Whatever suits you. So, now I'm just taking some, some mineral water. Guys, side note, if you're worried about hard water, while you're shampooing your hair and you're worried about the hard water minerals that can build up on your hair. You can either use filtered water to wash your hair or you can just use a hard water shampoo. Wow Skin Science has a hard water shampoo. Anyway, this is my mixture. That smells really nice. And not freaky, like I'm not freaked out to put this on my scalp. So now we have our two concoctions for our scalp. One is your DIY dry shampoo, one is your DIY scalp refresher. But what about the lengths? Now listen, once you're done with your workout, right? Look at your hair, feel your hair, ask yourself, does my hair have a lot of product in it? If that is the case, then you should be doing no product refreshes. What does that mean? That means the moment you put some water you take a spray bottle and spritz your hair with some water. It should activate all of that product that you have from your last wash day. But if you have high porosity hair, which means that your hair takes in, absorbs product and throws out product very easily, then it could be that when it's day three or day four, your hair becomes very dry and it needs some product. You cannot do a no product refresh. I have a refresh video, you can look at it up here. As you can see, for my refresh, I can't just get away with no product. But some of you can, which is why I'm giving you the option. If your hair can stand a no product refresh, which means to say that your hair is already moisturized, you've just lost your curl definition, but it still has a lot of product in it, then this is an option for you. This is not expensive. I paid 260 rupees for it. This is the mousse by Enliven. It does not have sulfates, does not have silicones, does not have alcohol like their dry shampoos and gels do. So this is completely CG approved. So it doesn't matter what ingredients you're okay with and not okay with, this you can totally use. So what you'll do is you'll spritz your hair down and then you will use this as a styler. This gives you a nice hold. When it comes to hold, I would say this is around maybe like a level three. So not like a level five, but it's perfectly fine if it's just a refresh. We shouldn't be expecting our post-workout refreshes to look like day one hair. In fact, guys, you guys have to stop with this obsession of perfect looking hair. If you're embracing your curls, then embrace the good days and embrace the bad days as well. I keep saying CG is not a quick fix. It is about repairing your hair over time. So stop obsessing over frizz free, perfect curls seven days a week. Because look, it doesn't matter even if you're like two, three years down the line, I still don't think you have day five and day six and day seven without frizz. So stop chasing that idea. It does not exist. All right, so this is totally an option for you. Now, if you have high porosity hair and you can't do with no product and your hair drinks up moisture and lets go of moisture very easily, 
and you cannot conceive of a world where you just use one styler and your refreshes are done and what you can do is this is just an old bottle and i have some conditioner in here but it's mixed with a lot of water so it's really watered down as you can hear you can use this over your curls over the body of your hair to refresh it and then go in with this mousse so firstly let's just look at what my hair looks like all right now you might say hey michelle that's not that bad my hair doesn't look like that after i work out well what i have to say to you guys again okay is stop expecting month 1 hair to look like month 7 hair okay it took me some time to get my hair like this it didn't happen overnight when i was on month 1 and month 2 and month 3 and month 4 uh my day fours and day fives did not look like this so what i'm trying to tell you in essence is curl training takes time no matter how much i repeat it you guys don't want to listen cgm is not a quick fix you can't just wash your hair once and then be like boom bam boom perfect curls no guys it takes time okay so this is what my hair looks like and some of you might say that hey you don't need to refresh your hair this is this is stupid why are you making this video well you guys asked for it here's the video enjoy all right so what can i do to my hair first let's look at the diy powdery thing now you might freak out going like oh my god i'm not putting that on my hair well you know what dry shampoo is exactly this okay it is the same concept all together you are going to clog your scalp with dry shampoo the same way that you're going to clog your scalp with this you know the difference between the two that is marketed nicely in a nice shiny pretty bottle and i know you're a sucker for marketing so yeah essentially same thing this is talc free does not have silicone okay does not have alcohols in it it's a cg option use it if you want to if you don't then it's just an option that i'm giving you okay so i've just taken a brush this is an old blush brush that i have now just like with eye shadow i keep saying right tap 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 in the same way you're going to do exactly that why do we tap our brushes before applying eye shadow because we want the perfect amount on our brush same thing okay tap your brush if you go in with a bukudles of it don't expect it not to look crazy and powdery so what i'm going to do is start with a part okay i'm going to take this i'm just going to fluff you know what guys honestly not that bad will i attract ants at night when i'm sleeping maybe no actually that shouldn't happen coco powder is not sweet use unsweetened coco powder if you're doing this so again tap 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 okay tap 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 okay i still have some product on my head so i'll just go around my roots and i will fluff yeah it does it does feel like dry shampoo on my roots honestly i'm not going to lie it felt very very gimmicky when i was reading about it but yeah it's not that bad yeah not bad at all it gives you some root lift as well I'm gonna fluff out. You know what? Don't knock it till you've tried it. Take my advice. Uh, yeah, when I read about this, I was also like, I'm not putting cocoa powder on my scalp. But don't knock it till you've tried it. If you really like the feeling of dry shampoo and you're not feeling comfortable that CG doesn't allow you to use dry shampoo because we don't have those products in the market, 
then this is a good alternative. As long as you don't go in with a lot of it and you tap your brush out before using. So yeah, I think I should get to the next option, which is our DIY scalp refresher. Now, if you're concerned about your scalp smelling and you're uncomfortable with the thought of a smelly scalp post your workout, then this could be a good option for you. Okay, I really like that option as well. If you're concerned about essential oils and you're like, hey, my problem was an oily scalp, why am I putting more oil onto my scalp? Then don't use the essential oil because the cornstarch should absorb the smell from your scalp. So now, the lengths. What should I do with my lengths? Now, as you can see, my hair doesn't need that much help, let's be honest. I lose some definition from here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out certain sections where I feel like, okay, my curl clump needs some help there. We're going for all of that. Yep. Going for all of it. Now, just to show you, I should probably pick out some top sections. Although my top sections don't require so much help. Maybe I'll destroy one top section. I can't believe I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for you guys. So in essence, what I'm trying to do here is if you feel like all of your hair needs a lot of love and help, then by all means, spritz all of your hair with water. Or what you can do is just pick out some of the sections that require some help. Let's just destroy that a bit for the video. So yep, I've just made my hair <laughs> look really bad. Now what I'm going to do is spritz. Good enough. Spritz. I'm not gonna get any of this sopping wet because obviously you guys probably want to refresh your hair because you're running off to work or something like that. If you have the time to get your hair completely wet and refresh it properly, then the video up here, how I refresh my hair, check that out. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna take my conditioner, which is diluted in a lot of water. Okay, As you can see, this is what it looks like. Can you see how runny? So I'm just going to run it through my hair. Now, you can always take your comb and comb through, but why? I'm not going to detangle right now. I'm not interested in detangling right now. As long as your clumps form, you should be good. So I'm going to scrunch and encourage the curls to form. If I feel like they're frizzing up, I'll just add some more water. Praying hands because I don't want to disturb any of the clumps that are forming automatically. Don't worry about uniform, same sized clumps. If you're doing a post-workout refresh, that is not what it's about. This is about getting your hair to look decent and getting out the door. So scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Oh. 
all right good enough you can see the waves have formed now i'm just going to take the mousse shake it well before use whoa Now listen, if you feel like you want to do this to all of your hair, go for it. If you feel like there are certain sections where you would benefit from finger coiling, then please do that. Now if you feel like no, there weren't only a few sections that were messed up in my hair, it was all of my hair. So what do you do? You get all of it wet. But just a bit cuz ain't nobody got time for that after gym before work you want something super quick so you get all of your hair wet okay you take some of your diluted conditioner you can see it but there you go bring hands Squishy, squishy. Flip it around. Some more squishy, squishy. If you see some dry sections, which I do. Water. Conditioner. Bring hands. Squishy, squishy. Encourage your curls. In all directions because you want volume. And you want your hair to look really nice. Whichever way you part it or you flip it, you want all of the curls to have nice definition. So, here we go. If you have low porosity hair and you see that products generally sit on your hair and don't really go in, then please don't add more product. Use a styling product, which means a product that gives you some hold, a setting product. This is something you set your hair with. This is something that you moisturize your hair. Okay, guys. While I was demonstrating, my battery died. So I guess this should do because I'm just showing you the last bit of the demonstration. Boom. Go crazy with it if you have high porosity hair. Go crazy with it if you have wavy hair that is stubborn and needs a lot of work when you're styling. Use very little if you have very curly hair and you don't need all that help forming the curls. Look guys, I styled my mother's hair and my mother's a 3A and I was shocked at how easy it was, okay? I mean, us wavy girls have it very difficult. Okay, very debatable. Uh, don't want to get into that whole debate of whose hair is more manageable or whatever. All I can say is, my mother's hair was very easy to do. First wash and it looked brilliant. All of the girls were just like, okay, yep. Whereas wavy girls, or rather, whereas for me, when I do my hair, it is always a lot more effort. So, I'm piling on the product because I need a lot of hold. My hair does not look good if I don't use a lot of gel or a lot of stylers. You guys have seen. I use more gel than any girl should, right? Anyway, here we are. Enjoy my little screen. That's a clothes hanging rack, by the way. So, yep, here we are. Uh, I think I'm going to wait for my hair to dry and then I'll come right back. Alright guys, I'm back. 
My hair took five minutes to dry, whereas my battery charged for an hour. So, if you have low porosity hair and your hair takes forever to dry, then please go in with a diffuser. Anyway, we didn't get our hair that wet, so it shouldn't take you too much time. If you're using a diffuser, then five minutes and that should do the job. So, as you can see, the mousse gave me a nice cast. It's time to scrunch out the crunch. Haha, <laughs> can we see my tan lines right here? I've been working out in the sun, so... Alright, so here you go. These are my post-workout refresh results. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. If you haven't already, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram because I post a lot there that you won't see here. Alright guys, that was the video. My name is Michelle and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.